Today, we step foot into this massive building in Oklahoma that was built in the 1880s to hold many patients, including patient seven. Shadows of demons from past rituals in the chapel, the terrifying shrieking of patient seven, the screams of a little girl, and the whispers of multiple women can still be seen and heard throughout this location. Welcome to the most terrifying location in Phasmophobia. Welcome to Sunnyside Meadows Mental Institution. All right, how's it going, everyone? Let's go, let's get started. So we are at the Sunnyside Meadows Mental, Mental Institution. So I'm gonna take, instead of a camera, I'm gonna take a UV light, I'm gonna take my strong flashlight, and I'm gonna take a thermometer. Uh, the map up here, the map you can see easily, it's two floors, there's 69 rooms on this map. So we are going to go and turn on the breaker. The breaker actually looks different. On every map, they actually updated the breaker. So every breaker on every map looks different. However, this is the only one really, I think uh, this one's the only one anyways. I haven't really checked the other maps just yet. So don't quote me on this. As far as I know, this is the only one that has the breaker. Whoop, not down there. It's this way, here we go. Uh, that has the breaker looking like a very old switch, like something out of a horror movie, like the Frankenstein movie, right? It's kind of like that. Uh, it's right here. Uh, let's flip it. When it's on, the red light turns on. When it's off, it turns off, you know, so on and so forth. So now the breaker's on. So we can turn on the lights and we can go room to room searching for the ghost. So let's go do that really quickly. Uh, are you here? give us a sign where are you now this room this this map does not feel like really it's something tricky or something easily able to get lost in now here is something cool this is an easter egg i'm going to show you all if you haven't known this yet so this was the location of patient seven as you know in the asylum map the old asylum map there was a Easter egg to where it showed patient seven saying how he did not like the asylum anymore. And he thought sunny meadows was a really great place and that he can't wait to go there. However, he was thrown into this room and check this out. If I turn off my flashlight, look at all these marks, all these, like, I mean, apparently I think there's around a thousand in total. Um, when it comes to the number of all these, Supposedly there's a little over a thousand and it is just insane. Uh, just seeing all this. This is where patient seven resides. I don't think there was anything on the floor and I don't think there's anything on the ceiling, but yeah, it's all on the walls in this room here. Um, so I'm gonna close that door and we're gonna look around some more. We're gonna keep on looking around. Now, what I like about this too is that Unlike the asylum or the high school, the light switches aren't like purely on. It basically gives like this ambience that, okay, you know, this is an old abandoned place. As you can see from the video here, the lights are there, but they aren't working as fully as what they used to be. So it definitely gives you more of a, of a spooky ambience vibe. Same thing with the audio. The audio, they have all different kinds of screaming sounds you can hear, everything from a guy screaming to a little girl screaming, and then whispers of a couple women, basically whispering kind of like in your ear or nearby you. Doesn't mean the ghost is in that room or in that area, it just necessarily means that that is like, uh, it's just part of the ambience that you can hear. Um, okay, so 21, so it's definitely nowhere around here. Now this is the surgical room. This is actually one of my favorite rooms because it's just like, it, it just gives a feel of how terrifying it must have been to be a patient here. I mean, just them strapping you in to a steel metal chair, metal table that is so uncomfortable looking and just doing whatever they wanted to do. And it, it must have been so terrifying. And it just gives that vibe completely. Uh, there are multiple ways back upstairs, uh, which is really, really nice. There's multiple ways back upstairs on each end of the, of the map here. Now, this is the morgue. This is a, oh, the light's on in here. Is the ghost room? Is this the ghost room? I did not turn the lights on in here. 
There's a light switch in here, right? Yeah, there is. Hold up. Weird. Maybe it already started on. I don't think this is the ghost room, though. I'm getting only 13 degrees. Yeah. But anyway, you have different multiple morgues here. You have, or, uh, and then you have the rotting corpses. You have all that. I mean, you just have all this kind of stuff. All these flies on the wall. You have anatomy pictures. Oh, I just did something. Uh, you might notice a little bit of lag. That is not from my computer, by the way. That is not an issue with on my end. That is an issue with the game. There is and has been some lag, especially when the update first came out. There were really some major issues with the la with some lag. Like I would play with some buddies of mine in multiplayer and what would happen would be just like it would freeze up and it sound like when someone would talk, it sound like they were a broken record. You know, it would just kind of like pause, but it would play their audio on repeat a certain word. And it was just like a little bit of an issue. So we're going to turn that off because I don't think the ghost is down here. The ghost might be upstairs. So we're going to go check that out. We're going to go check it out and see. It's got to be upstairs. Give us a sign. Yeah, just the ambiance overall is just wild. This map really does not feel like a map from Phasmophobia. It feels like it's from like Outlast 2 or uh, some other really insane horror game. Like here's a place that leads upstairs, but you can't. A faucet's turned on, so that means it's in a bathroom then. So it's probably down this way. Here's the chapel. They just knew they just added this. This is a new thing. So we got the tarot cards. Uh, all your cursed objects on this map will be here. Uh, when you have all the cursed objects on custom difficulty, uh, they will all appear here. And what will happen is when you activate the candles um, or I forget, I think it's you'll activate the candles that are around here when you have all the cursed objects and different things will happen. Uh, the, I won't spoil it and I won't show it, but different things will happen, such as the crucifixes turning upside down every candle you light, and then eventually the, uh, finale. So you will have to check that out for yourself. So it's definitely down this way. Sounds like it's down here. Now this is five maps in one. Keep that in mind. These are five maps built into one giant map. Uh, so what happens is every time a ghost hunts, the entryways to each and every room becomes locked when the ghost hunts. Okay, so we know it's in this area around here. 18.5, 16.1. Give us a sign. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna close the doors here. 13.3. Freezing temps right in this room, okay. So I'm going to drop the UV light there. Actually, I'm gonna test for fingerprints as well. Now, one thing they added to the update, by the way, is that interactions actually give more money than the fingerprint photos. So make sure to get photos of interactions, not just uh, fingerprints. You can get photos of fingerprints, but make sure you get interaction photos so that way you can make more money. And there's also difficulty multipliers. The higher the multiplier is uh, when you successfully figure out what the ghost is, do the objectives, it increases the amount of money that you obtain so we know where the ghost room is let's go and just figure out what ghost this is what are the objectives motion sensor smudge stick and repel it while it's chasing someone i don't think i'm going to do the objectives this time around i'm just going to figure out what the ghost type is just for the sake of the video just to make it shorter um because it probably take me a little bit longer considering how longer it is <laughs> well um 
head up here now there's only two floors there is the main floor which is where the chapel's at basically and then you have the bottom floor uh the basement if you want to now everything there's so many interactions you can do it's wild on how much you can do i think the breaker actually flipped on its own i think it broke but uh let's figure out what this ghost is What's my sanity at? 71, so we know it's not a ghost that drains sanity really quickly, because I was in the dark for a while. So let's get a camera. We're gonna take a spirit box down there also, and we'll just do that. We'll just go down there with that. This is on professional, by the way, just for the sake of the video. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to take a sanity pill. Uh, so we know where the ghost room is anyhow. So we're gonna go freezing temperatures because that's an evidence that we got. And we're gonna go back downstairs. Now, the thing is with this map too, is that it doesn't feel as long as the asylum. And once you play it once or twice, you're already going to know and have a feeling of what ghost, uh, uh, sorry, not what ghost, uh, what area you are in and how to get back to the main entrance. Like, it's just that, that simple. Um, that easy to navigate around, unlike the asylum. Now you will see things that you can read here. It's kind of tricky to read, but they're always fun to read. It's rules for nurses, rules for patients, rules for doctors. And I think there is one that is, um, I forget what the other rules is. I think I just totally went the wrong way, actually. <laughs> easy to navigate around, yet I go the wrong way. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, I went the wrong way. It's in the opposite direction. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh yeah, getting, navigating around, yeah. So eventually over time, it's really, really simple to navigate around and you'll be able to do it no problem whatsoever. Okay, let's, um, it's not that way. Should be like right down here, right? Should be one of these rooms. I lose the room so easily sometimes though. And don't be caught off guard if you hear the screams of patient seven, if you hear the screams of a little girl or you hear uh, like, them talking to you or whatnot uh that basically is just that's just like the ghost not the ghost it's uh just the ambiance feature okay so let's go maybe it was upstairs that was really weird am i actually lost hold up No way I'm lost. I can't be. That is impossible. I think I just heard a growl, actually. Yeah, like, see, there's that sound as well. Yeah, I apologize if you can't hear it, but there are multiple sounds. That you can hear. No, it wasn't this room. Ah, it was this room right here. Okay. It was upstairs this whole time. <laughs> Alright, is it still freezing temps in here? Yeah, it still is. And we have ghost orbs. Okay. Are you here? Are you close? Okay, spirit box. Could be a mimic. 
because we have ghost orbs or it could be an on rio so we'll we'll have to see if we get fingerprints uh fingerprints you can reduce the chances of it the lower the chance there are fingerprints as shown evidence um oh it just moved the door and we got fingerprints so it is a mimic so sweet we got the mimic and let's get out of here so that is pretty much it chat for everyone thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you think about the sunnyside meadows mental institution let me know what you think about the map i think it is one of the best maps it's actually my favorite map i was not a fan of the asylum because of the size of it but this map is so so fun to play on it's so spooky so scary to play on i was actually terrified the first time i came into this map i i, I was just expecting something like the asylum but this is on a whole other level of spooky like this is like phasmophobia 2 literally like what this map is bringing to the table so anyway chat and everyone everyone viewing I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. I hope you all had a blast. Let me know what you think of the map. Make sure to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. I am on Twitch. I play a lot of games on Twitch. I play a lot of Phasmophobia on Twitch. So make sure to check myself out at Ghostly Nate on Twitch. And you can also follow me on my Twitter at Ghostly Nate59. I'll post the links to those in the description below. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your night. Wherever you are, stay safe, stay frosty. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.